www.ogsqradio.com broadcasting live from the Hip Hop Warrior Movement Annual Turkey Drive Volume 4 with special guests go ahead and introduce yourself who you are how you doing man this is uh, Ruben Molina Instagram where can they find you at on uh, Flaco Soul Instagram at Flaco Soul so for those that don't know what, what do you do or what's your involvement with with oh, this culture man. man bro I just spend my life collecting records bro <laughs> so what, what, how, when, did you, when did you start? Let's before. Let's start all the way back I, then. I started like when I was like 11, 12 years old. So actually, at that time, it was the records were being played like on a w daily basis. You'd get all this soul music coming out. Like 64, 65, 66, 1966. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, so was it 45s then? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. So the 45s were like everywhere. Like you would go like to. Uh, sewing machine company or you go to a May company and they have a 45 Hip section up. and then the radio stations would have like these uh, what's new so I would just pick up the soul station stuff and bam man this song this song do you remember the first album you bought though no I not albums brother okay oh 45s. I'm sorry 45 span yeah, 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 right? I don't mean to disrespect like yeah. that <laughs> no yeah, actually actually it was like don't be afraid do as I say by Frankie Carl and the dream how do you man. remember that like how well, did that stay with you because it's like an important part of your life uh, you know the music was like a teacher yeah. it's like all music is you know it's a teacher and at the time like my dad was like in the joint and you know uh, you don't have like your male figure and stuff so man you start meeting chicks and you're like what the fuck man what do i say to her what and then smokey says hey man you know say this to her uh, nice. the temptations say hey say this you know oh. hey when you when you cheat on her man then you say how do i say i'm sorry <laughs> man the delphonics got to that, that, that went quick, to, it you, it I'm went sorry, quick from man. what do you say to her to cheating yeah, on her though yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well you know brother when you when you're 15 16 years old it's like you're in a freaking now, now that now they, they would say you're about that life <laughs> right, yeah when you're in that, man you're like in the supermarket and you're like whoa you know yeah, yeah. Um, what's your involvement with the southern soul spinners well we started back Back in like uh, I think about 2006, and uh, it was just a collective of collectors that were, you know, let's say, we just said, let's see if we could put it into a situation where we bring in people from all over LA, from different neighborhoods, yeah, and see if we can do something for them without shit breaking out. Because that's the key, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you get 10 barrios and you stick them into a hall. And, and like, we, at the time when we started, we're, 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 we're bringing in 250, 300 people. Damn. And so, like, I would just go to each, like, neighbor and say, man, we're all here. You know, or I'd get the mic and say, look, we're all here. We're, we're going to play this music for you. It's going to bring back memories. But that's what it's all about. The minute somebody starts shit, it's over. We'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. Man, it, it, at our age, you can't just be like, hey, we're too old for this shit. Uh, no, <laughs> brother. <laughs> hey, why do your shit goes back, man? It's deep. It's yeah, deep. yeah, but, definitely. But, but you know what? We did it without, yeah. I mean, all these, all those years. Yeah, no, I in, infamous yeah. Southern Soul yeah. Spinners. Yeah. Um, who are the members now? Just, let's start with yeah. that question. Okay. It was, it, right now, it was uh, 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 Soleta 5150 and Josh Whitmore and myself. Okay, but when you started, there was a lot more. Yeah, we started... Um, Actually, we started under a, like a different name, and then we 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 switched up because uh, um, I was trying to take out the like too aggressive like gang element part. Yeah, you know, I was trying to make it more like hey man, like welcoming. Yeah. And in order to do that, you know, a lot the, your name has a lot to do with it, man. Yeah. So so we just like and and yeah and 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 then you have like a vision and. Not everybody's on your same. Me, I'm like long term. Everything yeah. is always three years ahead, four years ahead, right? So, but you get people that like they their vision is is shorter. Yeah. So they're like, hey, where's my fame, man? Where's my, I want it now, you know? And and we can't we, we can't give you that, you know? Like we can only do what we're doing. How, how many times did you have to say you're? We can't put your name any bigger on the flyer. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, bro. You see, the, see, that's what happens. Bro. <laughs> yeah, and then, for real. That and then it. so then everyone you know, started to to evaporate, man. You know the the that part. So, and 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 what was cool about it? What we started became more than more than ourselves 
Yeah. So everybody went out and started doing the little shows. Yeah. So actually, like right now, nobody can bring together 250, 300 people yeah. at one place because at the same time, you got six things going on at one time and everybody's got 30 people. Right? Are you looking you know, to get more members? People. No, not Nine. really, man. It's just like it, it, it's a... Uh, uh, um, like I said, the, the it's a whole movement now. It's not just it's just not six people on one stage. It's okay. a whole movement, bro. And, so and 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 it crossed it crossed borders. It crossed into yeah. city borders. Now you your know, guys international, up north, though, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, like I've gone to play in England, and Germany, so. and Spain, and Portugal, and you know, and 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 they trip out because when you go over there, they're like. Uh, this lad's gonna play a roller, <laughs> you know, but, but right, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but they're in, and you're in England, right? Yeah. You're like, it's a roller, man, you know, yeah. but but what I do is when I go over there, I carry like a sack of sarapes and I, I'll say, hey, okay, if we're gonna play on these, we're gonna put a sarape down, and they're like, what's that? And so then they announce to the people, this is a sarapi, you know, yeah. like that, but it's cool because they they did, but then too, you're, you're pushing the culture, yeah, not just you're exactly, playing your music, bro. And, yeah. and, and, and then. At the same time, I was writing books on it. Okay. So, so like the books were kind of like pushing people into the collecting, uh, uh, oh. into the you know. And, are, th are there any oldies you won't play? Uh, I just try to stay to on my end. I try to stay to the to the the lowrider culture. What okay. what what fits that movement? Although, like when we started, we were just playing slow jams, slow jams, okay. slow jams, right? But then it came to the point where you got all these people and you're like, okay, we can't slow jam them all night because yeah. they're just going to be getting fucked up. Damn. And start, so we got to make them dance at one point. So people fight over oldies and shit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oldies is about love, dog. Brother, no? yeah, 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 I think yeah, they would sit yeah. there and cry and shit like yeah, I miss no. my ex or some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, you know? yeah, nah, no. but, so it's the not, it's hey, not the, the oldies, it's yeah, the pistol. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but you got you got records that are like so rare. Like, man, you got that. And, oh. you know, hey, yeah. You know. Um, you're saying too that off the air, you're saying that records were played on the radio that yeah. you you bought them when they came out. Where yeah. did that change though? Like, like around the the 80s, it just became too corporate, and rather than like the the independent record companies being able to go to a radio station, take a record and say, hey, play this and see if it catches. Yeah, you can't do that no more. It goes has to go through. Uh, uh, like a corporate uh, thing, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Um, how many records do you own? I have about five thousand forty-five. Only forty-five? You collect albums? No, I got like six hundred albums, but the albums I just kind of, you know. Yeah, you ain't really touching yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they're too heavy to carry around, man. I'd rather carry a little. A little forty-five. I never thought yeah. of that, bro. Yeah, yeah that's bro, smart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you still buy records? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If someone knew that's because actually, actually, I just seen a documentary where like um, younger people are getting into it, like in right. high school, um, yeah. um, especially on the east side. Yeah. The east side definitely. Um, what's a label you could tell them to look up where they could like kind of get a good? You know, if it's just if it's just like a starter, I would send them like to uh, Big Crown, Timmy, and the the new uh, um, record labels that the records are relatively cheap, like seven to. 10 bucks yeah get the feel for it okay if you, if you dig it then step into a little something a little bit more you know go Motown Motown's always good it always okay. uh, you know dance to and shit like that uh, last question once again at Flaco Soul on Instagram we got Ruben Molina Soul uh, Southern Soul Spinners member um, uh, what's the most you paid for a record 1200 what record was it uh, Royal Chessman begging you why why twelve hundred? Well it's there's there's maybe like six, seven of them on the planet Earth, you know. So do you so, play it? Uh Be honest. no, you know what? I do. I, I, yeah. I have brought it out, man, and people just like swarm around it, you know, but And that's where you char charge them five bucks a picture and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. Now you know what? I'm always happy to to show people, to tell people you know, this get this, and stuff. you know, I'm not like hoarding shit. You know, 
Thank you for your time. Any shout out before we let out, man? Man, I just want to say shout out to the hip hop warrior movement. This is beautiful today. I mean, it's all in the giving, and I uh, love it, man. Love OGSQ it. Radio, stay posted. More interviews to come. <laughs>